Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Manifesting Secrets. My name is Krisha Love. I am a manifestation coach here to help you get rid of your limiting beliefs so that you can have the life that you deserve. If you are new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell notification so that you will be alerted when I upload more videos like these. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to turn it up a notch, you can go ahead and email me at lovelysecret90 at gmail.com. All right, so let's jump into the good stuff today, y'all. You know I always got some good stuff for you, all right? So today we're going to talk about why you should not be reacting to the 3D, okay? I'm going to tell you why you should not be reacting to the 3D when trying to manifest your specific person. Simply put, if you do, you're going to just be prolonging your manifestation. You're going to prolong the time it takes for you to get your specific person. You just don't want to react to it, okay? You need to think of whatever is going on now. It's just your old beliefs, your old assumptions, your old thoughts, okay? That's all it is. It has to fizzle out. So if you've already been doing your affirmations, you've been um, on top of your mental diet and you've been doing your visualization and you see that your specific person is still acting like an ass, okay? They're still ghosting you or not answering your text messages or your phone calls, okay? Whatever. Do not react to it. Just know that you are changing their ass and they are going to conform, okay? Just continue to um, do your affirmations, continue to do your visualization, your stats, your um, stay on top of your mental diet and all that good stuff and they ass will be eating out the palm of your hand, okay? So if you are seeing some shit that you do not like, you guys, please listen to me, okay? Like I said, we're here. I'm here in your living room or you at my crib and we're talking girl talk one-on-one, -on -one, guy talk, whatever. I'm here to let you know you do not react to the 3D because the 3D is going to just hinder you and prolong the whole manifestation, okay? And I know you're tired of being by yourself and all this shit, but trust me fuck the 3d because you know that it is just already shit that you was thinking about a week ago a month ago whatever and just just wait it out and i promise you if you continue to stay on top of your mental diet and boss up on that 3d like fuck you you know what that's old that's old shit you old news okay and you already know that your specific person is going to conform how do i know because I did the same thing. When I was manifesting my specific person, it took a lot in me to try to ignore the 3D. But guess what? I did it. And I ended up getting my specific person. So, let me explain a little bit to you real quick. In the beginning, when everything was good with your specific person, y'all was cooling it. Y'all was going out on dates, everything was good. Talking on the phone, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You text them, they reply, just like that. Then all of a sudden, you start getting these insecurities and it's okay, it happens to the best of us, but now that we are winners and we ain't taking no L's no more, that shit ain't happening no more. We getting what the fuck we want because we're bosses, we're uh, queens, we're kings, and it is what it is. So we ain't doing that shit no more, okay? But before you knew what it was, before you came to this channel and you found out that you are the star of your movie, you may have had some insecurities and you were thinking all type of shit why that person probably would be talking to somebody else or you wasn't good enough or whatever, whatever, whatever it was. Then your 3D was still showing you them calling you, them texting you, still, you know, trying to get up with you. But somewhere in the back of your mind, you were still feeling like, you know what, they might be a player. They might, you know, be out here talking to females or whatever, okay? Or trying to, you know, like, play me. That's, you know, that's probably what you was thinking. But, of course, 
the good old 3D, your shit didn't manifest yet. So the 3D was still showing you that they was trying to get with you, that they liked you a lot, you know? And you wasn't complaining then when the 3D was still showing you that your specific person is still calling you, still contacting you, still um, taking you out on dates and want to be around you. But in your head, your insecurities were still kicking in saying, you know what, I think they're a player. Oh my God, he didn't answer my phone call. He must be out with somebody else. That's what you were secretly affirming, not knowing that it was going to manifest. But you wasn't tripping on the 3D then. Now that you understand that your thoughts do create, you start to affirm the opposite of what you've been affirming. You start affirming things that you really want to see with your specific person. You start affirming that they are in love with you. They are spending time with you. They are call calling you all the time, taking you out on dates. You know, they are your man or your woman. And your 3D, the good old 3D, is always going to show you the opposite in the beginning. So you're affirming the positive stuff. They are seeing you, contacting you, loving you, showing up like you want them. That's what you're affirming. And then... Your 3D is showing you that they are not calling you. They, they still haven't reached out to you. They haven't even, they're ignoring your calls and your text messages and they're unfollowing you or they are blocking you or whatever. But you just keep affirming, you keep affirming no matter what you see with the 3D. So before when you was affirming the negative shit and your specific person was still showing up like you want it and then eventually you end up manifesting them to ghost you and not um see you or not want to be around you anymore you wasn't complaining about the 3d then so now you got to do the same shit but it's the opposite everything is the opposite now you're going to always see the opposite of what you're affirming in the beginning and eventually everything you're seeing is going to fizzle out and you are going to get what you are affirming. That is the beauty of it, y'all. If you can just hold out and not react to your 3D, you can have your specific person, okay? You can have your specific person, okay? Just wait it out and do not react because, like I said, it's just going to only prolong the situation, your manifestation is going to prolong it, prolong it, prolong it. And we don't want that. We don't want that. So woman up, man up and say, fuck the 3d. You already know it's just old. It's just old, um, old, um, manifestations that happen already. Old thoughts. You're changing your thoughts. So, you know, they have to conform. They have to conform. Okay. That's how you do it, you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.